Hi guys, I'm Jessica with Buena Vista Museum. Today we will be making magnetic slime. Today, I have my helper David with me. Hi. Here's a few ingredients that you'll be using today. We have glue, Elmer's glue and glitter glue. We have water and we have borax. Borax you can find in the laundry aisle at the store. And we have our iron filling and we found ours on Amazon. And you're also going to need a needle nail magnet. You can also find this at Amazon. Let's get started. First, we're gonna take our bucket and we are going to put one teaspoon of our borax inside. Let me find our teaspoon here. Please, please always make sure when you're doing these experiments that you have an adult present with you. Now we're going to use a half a cup of water. We're gonna dilute the borax in our water. So we're gonna stir it up until it's completely dissolved. How you doing? It's going pretty good so far. <laughs> All right. Is yours dissolved yet? Almost. All right. Looks like mine is just about dissolved. Give it another quick stir. Make sure we get it completely dissolved. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our glue. Which glue would you like? The orange glitter glue. Orange? David is going to use glitter glue and I'm gonna use regular white glue. I am going to pour a half a cup of glue into a separate container. Now that we got our half a cup of glue, we're going to add one tablespoon of our iron filling into our glue and we're gonna mix it. One tablespoon into our glue. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a stir. Looks like it's turning my white glue black. We're gonna make sure we get our iron nice and Mixed in well. How you doing, David? Pretty good. Is yours all mixed? Yep. All right, so our next step, we're going to pour our glue and iron mixture into our solution here. You want to make sure that you have all the slime that you can out of there so that way you have a lot to play with. Now we're going to mix it in our solution. This is the part that makes it into slime. It's no longer glue, 
it turns it into slime. As you can see here, it's no longer sticky and it has kind of bound up into one. So now I'm going to use my hands and I'm going to take it out of the solution. And I'm just going to kind of squeeze it together, try to mold it into one piece. Let me see if I can get the rest of that out of there. Oh, that looks great, David. Yeah. Let's put it on our clean surface here and kind of just knead it a little bit. All right. Now when it's nice and pliable, and it doesn't stick anymore. Oh, that looks great, David. Now you can take your magnet. Once again, this is very harmful as swallowed, so please, please make sure that you always have an adult present with you when you're doing your experiments. <laughs> take your magnet, and now, Watch what your slime can do. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. You can make it dance around. Look at that. That is so cool. Amazing. The science behind magnetic slime. Polymers. A polymer is a substance made up of a long chain of molecules that repeat. Glue is a polymer. These chains are able to slide past each other, making the glue flow. When you mix the glue with the substance, the birate ions cross-link with the glue's protein molecules, creating larger molecules that can no longer easily slide past each other and create thick, gooey substance. Magnetism. A magnet is a material that produces a strange, attractive force around it called a magnetic field. This magnetic field attracts other materials that contain iron. When you place a magnet in our magnetic slime, the little bits of iron are quickly pulled towards it. Trapped in our polymer slime, the iron bits are attracted to the magnet but can't move quickly towards it so they creep slowly around the magnet. This creates the illusion of the slime swallowing up the magnet. Neodymium magnets are a special type of rare earth magnets that are extremely powerful. Did you know magnets always have two poles? Even if you cut them in half. Magnetic monopoles do not exist as far as we know. Magnets will always have two poles, a magnetic north and a magnetic south. If you don't believe us, take a bar magnet and cut it in half. The two remaining pieces will still have a north and a south. You can cut it dozens of times and the results will be the same. Thank you guys for joining us today. Please like and subscribe for our newest, latest videos.